Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the brand new for 2019 Safari LTD Allosaurus figure. It's finally come out in the UK, and I've been so looking forward to it, and it does not disappoint. Now, of course, as we all know, Allosaurus is a Allosaurid carnosaur theropod, obviously a carnivore, as you can tell by the teeth and the claws. A very famous dinosaur, the first really big carnivore that the Earth saw on the land, uh, in terms of dinosaurs anyway. And Safari has done a wonderful job representing this animal. We've been waiting so long for an accurate Allosaurus figure. We've, the best we've had really is the, uh, the Papa one. And don't get me wrong, I love the Papa one, but I think this has topped it. And that's saying a lot. Of course, we found Allosaurus in the Morrison Formation. In states like Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. Uh, I can't remember the rest of them. So, uh, let's, let's just get on with the figure. Let's start off with the head. Look at how beautifully done this head is. We've of course got the famous red crests of Allosaurus that are always done in red and I don't see why they wouldn't be red to be honest, it's a very common colour for crests. The eye, you can't quite make it out on here, but it's kind of an orange colour with black pupil. I think it, it gets the job done. Got an ear hole sculpt there, nice attention to detail. Nostrils, there, front side. Uh, the front side, this side. Now you can see here on this side it's a bit more prominent. The red from the crest actually kind of outlines the eye on this side. I really like that. It's a very nice touch. Oh, and it does on this side as well. I'm, a, I'm, I'm blind apparently. I really like that. Looks wonderful. Love this very pale kind of swampy green color they have for this figure. Now, I guess a complaint well not really a complaint but something to note is that the teeth are a little bit funky <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to state why you can just kind of tell from looking at them because they're so so tiny they kind of sort of squash together a bit and the paint's a little bit messy but considering they didn't have much to work with I think it's been done very well pink interior got a tongue sculpt there it's, the bottom teeth especially just kind of squash together I've just kind of been painting as a line, but I guess that's kind of the sacrifice we get for getting lips. Yeah, we've got an Allosaurus with lips. How awesome is that? So yeah, I, I don't think it doesn't really bother me. I, I'm okay with that. Got ear on that side as well. Uh, I like how we've got this kind of like a throat patch, very veiny. Really like the detail there, and uh, that's just something I like about this figure in general. I love the color scheme. I think it's wonderful, it's also unique, and Safari seems to have this trend of when they put white on their figures, it just looks awesome, and this is no exception. I love the contrast between this kind of light, kind of like a, a khaki, khaki green, is how we pronounce it in England, and then this very, very dark green, which looks quite a lot darker on camera actually. This looks way lighter in person, I promise you. Uh, it's very dark green going across the top, down the spine, and also the top of the head, which I really like. And then on the underside, we've got this bright white, and then we've got pitch black contrasting greatly on the um, the hands and the feet. And the toe claws have been done, uh, the claws in general have been done black. And then outlining the the white we've got this black stripe all down the legs and the side the torso and this tail which is very long I was thinking it might be a bit too long but no I think it is just about right and um, it's I think it's it's just been done really well I think it's wonderful and I'm running out of things to say because it's just it's just been so well done I think it's fantastic and in terms of the sculpt on the legs I know something that was um, maybe not complained about but something that was definitely noted is that this is a very beefy Allosaurus it's a very chunky muscular Allosaurus but 
I don't really have a problem with that because I think this would have been a very muscular animal if it's chasing down prey animals like sauropods all day. Of course, this safari, we don't need to worry about pronated wrists. Now, the, uh, the first claw of Allosaurus should be enlarged, but they've had to shrink it down for safety purposes, and I'm okay with that. Uh, safety first, always. Feet, perfectly done. Got just barely make out a dew claw on that foot, and then it's on that one, three toes. Middle toe is the longest, just about. And also the, the base of the tail, nice and thick, as it should be. All too often we get really skinny uh, tail bases, and that should not be the case. No shrink wrapping on the head. And yeah, I think that's all I've got to say, so let's measure this guy up. This guy's not as big as I thought it would be, but that's not a complaint. Okay, so in terms of the length, this guy, or girl, 25 centimeters long, and pretty much exactly 8 centimeters tall. So not the biggest, but definitely not the smallest either. I think this is about 140th scale, which sizes up with the Camarasaurus they've released this year, and also the Stegosaurus, which I'm looking forward to getting as well, both from the Morrison Formation of the Jurassic period, which is awesome that we get to put dioramas together and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say on this figure. If you'd like one, if you're in the UK, I'd recommend going to everythingdinosaur.com. It's also Dan's Dinosaurs, or just Amazon and eBay. Sorry, I'm, if you're outside of the UK, I'm not really sure where it's best to get these figures. Uh, if there's a Safari figure like this one, I'd say go straight to the Safari LTD website. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this figure brilliant i'd highly recommend getting it that's all i have to say thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye now